Yo Algebros, Professor Algebro here now. We're going to talk about percentage change. Now, I have a formula here, O minus 2 over O, but there's one other thing we're going to have to add to this. I'll show it to you in just a second. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to find the change in numbers from their old value to their new value. So I'm going from 10 to 8. So my old value is 10, my new value is 8 over my old value. Now, to find the percent of change, I will multiply this by 100. This will give me the value. So 10 minus 2 over 8 is 2 over 10. Excuse me, 2 over 10 times 100. Now, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to knock out a zero, and that's going to be 20%. Now, because the new is less than the old, this is going to be a 20% decrease. Okay, now here's the way this works. If the old value is greater than the new value, it's a decrease. If the old value is less than the new value, it's an increase. And you're going to find that your, your increases will have a, quote, negative value, okay? So I'm going to try to keep this up on the board for y'all. So I'm going to give you a number to, to do. We're going to go from 10 to 15. Now, Here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video and I want you to find out the percent change from 10 to 15. Okay, we're back. So here's what we're gonna do. We have old here, we have new. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these values, we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna multiply by 100, okay? So 10 minus 15 over 10 times 100. So that becomes, now remember what I said, this is negative five over 10 times 100, which is negative 50. Now, remember what I told you, if you have a negative value, that means an increase. So this is gonna be a 50% increase, okay? Now, on that same note, now I'm gonna erase this because hopefully you have this written down somewhere. I'm gonna give you Another one. We're going from 100 to 125. Now, pause the video and let's see if you can get whether it's a percent increase or a percent decrease. Okay, now, first thing. Is it an increase or a decrease? Well, if this is the old and this is the new, since the new is greater than the old, I know it's an increase, okay? So now I'm gonna do my math. I have 100 minus 125 over 100 times 100, okay? Now, this is gonna give me negative 25 because those cancel out. Now, negative 25, remember what we said, if it's a negative value, it's gonna be an increase. So this is a 25% increase, okay? No matter where you go, math is there. Later, dudes. Algebros, if you like what you saw, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Later.